POI-1, Charlie Zulu. Break one, blast one. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Benny. The communist spy balloon gets more and more confounding. Everything we learn about it gets stranger and stranger. Why was the writing on the balloon written in English if it came from China? What the hell is going on here? Breaking news reporting saying that the lettering on the balloon as they've recovered it from the deep Atlantic was written in English? Had English writing on it. That's according to a source familiar with this classified briefing to lawmakers today. Um, this is incredibly interesting, Martha, because the State Department, a senior State Department official, just revealed today to reporters that uh, they're confident that this balloon manufacturer had a direct relationship with China's military and is an approved vendor of the PLA. That's according to information that was published in an official procurement portal for the PLA. So that's what they believe, that those parts came um, from an approved vendor the PLA uses. So now the question is, uh, and, I, and I imagine for lawmakers is, who is that vendor? Where is that vendor located? Where are these parts coming from? Because now we're learning um, they're Western made. Incredibly serious. So wait, they made the parts for the balloon in the West. So we made the Chinese spy balloon. I mean, presumably it has to be right. Like, so it's all written in English. So it'd have to come from us or from Europe. The, only like 10% of the entire world speaks English. So it, that's not a lot. So we sold the communist Chinese party, the spy balloon to spy on us with. And what are we finding out about this balloon as the military dredges it up from the bottom of the ocean? Well, we're finding out that this was not just a spy balloon to take photos of us. This was sophisticated equipment to listen to our data point to point conversations on our cellular devices. This is deeply dark stuff. This was hoovering up all of our cell phone information and our conversations. Does that make you feel good that all your text messages, if you were in the path of this balloon, were captured by this balloon sent back to China? I mean, if you have TikTok on your phone, it's already happening. Ladies and gentlemen, the Chinese spy balloon listening to Americans. State Department says the airship was capable of monitoring and pinpointing communications as new photos show FBI recovering debris from the deep Atlantic. Oh, the FBI is on the case. Oh, that's that's great. OK, so th that that means they'll definitely put it back together and then put it right back online so the Chinese can spy on us once more. A State Department official confirmed on Thursday morning that the U.S. believes China is using balloons for a vast surveillance network around the world. The U.S. Air Force shot down the balloon off the East Coast on Saturday after letting it traverse the entire United States. The Babylon Bee had this great article that said Biden will shoot down balloon once it's done with its spying mission. The Chinese spy balloon that was shot down over the Atlantic last week was likely capable of collecting and pinpointing American communications as it traversed several United States. The official said on Thursday, American intelligence is uncovering a vast surveillance network by Beijing that spanned 40 countries and five continents. According to the State Department, the U.S. is considering taking actions against China for what it calls a violation of American sovereignty. It had multiple antennas, including an array likely capable of collecting geolocating communications, the official said. It was equipped with solar panels large enough to produce the requisite power to operate multiple active intelligence collection sensors. So this is the balloon. You can see it there getting pulled out up and out of the ocean. This is a large dredging machine that goes to the bottom of the ocean and pulls the balloon up. There you can see the path of the balloon flying directly over our nuclear weapons silos. So this balloon was, according to the State Department, able to hoover up information that was being sent by techs inside of nuclear weapon silos. Oh, that's great. What a, fant what a, what a, what a fantastic administration. Does this make you feel safe? Doesn't make it. Here's the Aleutian Islands over here. That's where the balloon should have died. Where there's no one living and where you could just shoot it down day and night and where it could do no harm. The Biden administration not only let it like capture and spy on Americans all throughout the United States and presumably putting your private communications uh, at risk straight to China 
even if you don't have TikTok on your fan, phone. Uh, but they let this hover over nuclear weapons silos. Boy, we are led by a bunch of feeble, feline jackasses. Look at this balloon getting pulled up out of the water. There it is getting dredged up out of the water. There's some of the, the larger uh, functionality to it, some of the, the metal. There's like sort of like a metal casing around the balloon. Uh, China's pissed, by the way. Uh, China's very upset at this. If, if this were just a weather balloon, why would China be so angry? China's sitting there, you know, saber rattling. Intelligence links the program directed to the People's Liberation Army of China, principal military force. The official said the U.S. will explore taking actions against the Chinese government uh, and the People's Liberation Army that supported the balloon's incursion in the U.S. airspace. Action would have been shooting the thing the hell out of the sky. We didn't have the balls to do that. Disgraced on a world stage, we will also look at broader efforts to expose and address the Chinese government's larger surveillance activities, pose a threat to the national security, but you won't ban TikTok, you jack wagons. It's all piss and vinegar with these people. And they're like being completely clowned by China. Check this out. China refuses to have a conversation with the U.S. Defense Secretary following the downing of suspected spy balloons. So China is now putting the U.S. on blast. They won't talk to the State Department anymore. Anthony Blinken uh, postponed his trip. He's sobbing and crying and trying to get on the phone with Beijing. Um, not happening. Why? Because the people that defend us, supposedly defend us, uh, are total pussies. U.S. General Defense secret phone calls with China. What's all this about? Mark Milley, back in the day, was having phone calls with his Chinese counterparts telling them America's war plans. Not kidding. Uh, that the Chinese thought wrongly that the United States is going to attack them. I am certain, guaranteed certain, that President Trump had no intent to attack. And it was my task to make sure I communicated that. And the purpose was to de-escalate. You, you shared down. all that. So wait a second. So just to set this up, um, this is the Joint Chiefs of Staff, Mark Milley, going outside of the presidential command. So the president is the commander in chief. At this time, Trump was the commander in chief. It was exposed that Mark Milley was having secret conversations with Chinese military officials telling them America's war plans. This guy deserves to be in shackles in Guantanamo Bay as a traitor. Really, I understand. And, and just, as part of that, I, just say, did you or did you not ask, tell him that if we were going to attack, you would let him know? As part of that conversation, I said, General Lee, there's not going to be a war. There's not going to be attack between great powers. And if there was, the tensions would build up. There'd be calls going back and forth from all kinds of senior officials. I said, hell, General Lee, I'll probably give you a call, but we're not going to attack you. Trust me, we're not going to attack you. These are. So that's him sharing American war. Shouldn't everyone in the world be scared that America will attack them at all times? Isn't that the point of having a major offensive capability? And isn't that what keeps people in line? Why do you think China sends spy balloons over to America? Because they know that we are run uh, by weak men. By the way, look at Mark Milley there. When was the last time you think he did PT? How many push-ups do you think this guy could do? Do you think he get his fat belly up off the ground one time? Two great powers, and I am doing my best to transmit the president's intent, yeah. President Trump's intent, to ensure that the American people are protected from an incident that could escalate. I understand your intent, but I think you articulating that, that you would tell him, you would give him a call, I think is worthy of your resignation. So he, I mean, again, she, she's, the Congresswoman is exactly right. All of these guys need to resign. While the Chinese spy balloon that we know was designed in America, maybe we sold it to China. I mean, presumably, the Defense Department has to know who was the manufacturer of this thing. Is our own American Defense Department selling spy weaponry to China? Is that why we didn't shoot this thing down? Because why else would the language inside of the balloon be in English? It's so peculiar. But these people, they're deeply unserious people. While that thing was hoovering up all of our cell and data information uh, hovering above our cities and the places where our children play. Uh, the best brass that we got inside the Pentagon uh, were sitting there uh, literally crying on stage saying the best that you can possibly do is, you know, look up in the sky and see where it's at. That's the best we got for the American people. We're not going to tell you where it is. You can just look up and see the Chinese spying on you, invading our sovereign airspace. Is the position of the balloon classified? Uh Phil, right now, uh, what we're not going to do is get into a hour-by-hour hour location of the balloon. Again, we're monitoring it closely. 
I, as I mentioned right now, it's over the center of the continental United States. That's about as specific as I'm going to get. But I understand my being convenient, but does the public not have a right to know? If uh, the, the public is over certainly the has the ability to look up in the sky and, and look see up where the balloon in is. in the sky. This guy was put on blast. This out, this absolute coward was put on blast saying, uh, why don't you shoot it down? This is over sovereign airspace. This is an invasion of our country by a piece of military weaponry. Thank you, Pat. Uh, you said that this is uh, violating our airspace. So why not take it down? Yeah. So, uh, you know, clearly, as we assess options um, and considering the, the size of the payload on this, uh, looking at the potential for debris uh, and the impact on civilians on the ground or property damage. Again, uh, running through the, the various factors and looking at uh, in terms of does it pose a potential risk uh, to people while in the air. And right now, as I mentioned, we, we assess that it does not pose a risk to people on the ground as it currently is traversing the continental United States. And so out of an abundance of caution, uh, cognizant of the potential impact to civilians on the ground uh, from a debris field, uh, right now we're going to continue to monitor and review options. And if I may, you mentioned that we've seen this. Uh, they could have gotten rid of this thing very simply by booking it a reservation at Olive Garden with Eric Swalwell. And that little prick uh, would absolutely pop anything Chinese. Uh, what do you think about the Chinese spy balloon? How strange is this that these parts were made in an English speaking country? What is going on here? Is our own military selling spy equipment to China? They certainly seem complicit and they certainly seem dead set on humiliating us and making our nation a less safe place. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. We still believe that America is the greatest country on earth, even though it may be run by absolute morons right now. Uh, we, ladies and gentlemen, want to fight for America. And so we will continue to fight. And we thank you for fighting alongside us. My name is Benny Johnson. See ya. Thank you for watching. Our channel is here to meme the libs until they cry and then to meme them crying. Their tears, they taste just like sweet, delicious ice cream. Salty, too. We ridicule the establishment and the libs because of you. Your support keeps us going. So if you like what you saw, please punch the subscribe button, click like, and ring the little bell so that you know when we're live. Don't you want to know when we're live? And make sure that you subscribe to our email list just in case the plug gets pulled, as tends to happen. If you want to see more of our videos, click here or here. My name is Benny Johnson. Stay free. Base Patriots.